Is that William? Hello, buddy bats. I am back with the return to Bloody Nights. Let's continue on to Wednesday night, shall we? Hello, William. How are you doing today? Hello, Henry. I'm doing well, thank you for asking. How about yourself? I'm doing all right. I wanted to touch base with you about something. I heard that some of the employees saw a preview of the new animatronics design, and they were a bit concerned that they looked a little too scary and robotic. Mm. What were your thoughts on that? Well, I can understand why they might think that. But I assure you the final project will be much more child-friendly. The employees only saw a work in progress and were still fine-tuning the details. I hope you're right, William. We don't need any negative experiences from our young guests. As I mentioned before, I've been studying child psychology to ensure that the animatronics create a positive and safe experience. This is creepy. I'm confident that we'll achieve that goal. Hmm. I believe my robots will be the best around. Alright then, I trust your expertise in this area. On a personal note, how are you holding up with, with the, uh, divorce proceedings? It's been a difficult time, Henry. I won't lie about that. But I'm doing my best to keep my focus on my work and my children. They're the most important thing to me. So is Charlotte for me. She's my only family. I just want you to remember that it's okay for you to take some time to yourself. You can't pour from an empty cup. Don't forget to take a break and recharge. Thank you for the reminder. I appreciate your concern. I'll try to take care of myself as well, and my work, too. No problem, William. We'll talk again soon. Take care. You too, Henry. Gotta wonder, though, why is it that he was going through a divorce? Oh my god, what the hell is this? <laughs> What the hell? We got Spring Bonnie Jr. What the f- There's no way. Greetings, my dear employee. Is that what was on the camera? Making it to night three. The simple fact that you're here listening to me means that you've made a glorious contribution to Fazbear Entertainment. On behalf of the founders and no. myself as the CEO of the company, I want to thank you for your participation and dedication to this <gasps> job. Oh my god! We can count on you Yo! Of your excellent what the freak is this? You've got some big dreams you're chasing after. So, tell me, have you seen anything weird the past couple of nights? I did yesterday. You know, I every little detail going on in this fine establishment. But if you didn't he knows. this morning, I'll assume everything's all good. Speaking Why? Have you ever wondered how this place operates during the day? Despite all the rumors and investigations, it's actually pretty great. I mean, I was taking a stroll around here earlier and saw some kids jumping into the ball pit and having a blast. They even pretended it was a time machine <laughs> these days. <laughs> wow, so this was the restaurant <laughs> with all the Easter eggs. Sometimes those kids have more imagination in their pinkies than most adults have in their whole bodies. <laughs> it's a shame we lose that spark as we get older, but hey. That's what Fazbear Entertainment is all about. Bringing a little magic back into our lives, right? And oh my god. Making that happen. So keep up the good work. Actually, I have a little something for you in case you're interested in earning an additional $20. We're recording some <laughs> Just lines $20. tapes regarding the spring lock technology, and I think you'd be perfect for the job. You got a great voice, kid. All you have to do is read some text into a recording machine, and I'll make sure you're compensated for your time. You My goodness me. Fancy. Just be the voice on the tapes. We want to send them to every pizzeria that uses new spring lock costumes. How cool is that? Oh, All right, don't. You'll meet our new assistant. Her name is Karen. She's going to tell you exactly what to do. They're here. All right, then. Keep up the good work and keep on keeping on. Until next time, stay safe and don't forget to check those cameras. I'll talk to you soon. For real, the Oh! There she is. Oh my god. I like how they <laughs> get closer and closer. Look at that. Absolutely creepy. Wow. The marionette looks so beautiful though. I love her design. I don't know if I'm going to see that little Bonnie. But for real, why in the world make something look creepy like that? 
and it had like white out eyes. I could see why the employees were concerned. It's, it's not child friendly at all. And that's a disturbing detail too because once William becomes unhinged and starts doing what he does, the fact that he was studying child psychology is concerning. Because then he knows how to build animatronics. Oh wow. Oh my god. I was gonna say, then he knows how to build animatronics that, you know, gain a child's trust and it lures them. Well then Fredbear is cool. Oh, I see. You have to follow her. God have mercy. Hey. He's gone. Which I'm thankful for. I'm always concerned about turning around. God, I can't stand. Hey, I heard the bang now. Oh my god. Alright. It's 2 a.m. Batty Bats. I hope I can get through night three. We will see. So far I haven't seen anything like disturbing on camera, but hmm. Alright. Golden Fred Bear is close. Let me check on the marionette. Oh my god. Wait, what were those little pitter-patters? Pitter Don't tell me. I will see that little freaking thing. They're both waiting to go into their hallways. Dude. It's very strange because in the demo you had a glitching Golden Freddy. I'm not sure if we'll see him tonight. Not looking forward to it. Oh my gosh. Where is? Oh god. Where is Bonnie? Oh god. This is very strange. It's like- Oh, she moved. I don't know where Bonnie is. Uh oh. Uh oh. That is so creepy. Sounds like animatronic coughing. Oh. Oh, God! The sad thing is, I have to let. I have to leave the door open. Help me! Oh, God. That weird. Bonnie thing. <gasps> I can't do anything though. Not right now, unfortunately. What is he saying? Oh god! Freaking biggest jump scare. God. Freaking heck. Okay, he bangs on the door too. Oh, heaven. That is so creepy, Betty Bats. I would say that's ten times creepier than the demo because <laughs> he's saying more things. I see him moving in the back too. Just a bit, you know. All right, Golden Fredbear is very close. Oh my god! Why did I die? I just saw him on camera. <laughs> Whoa! Damn! That is quite a death screen. Damn. Why did I die though when I saw him on camera? I was doing so well! Right. See, I can hear when they move, but... Oh wow. Okay, sp Yep. See? This is what I'm waiting for. What happens? Waiting for him. God. I just have to like prepare ahead of time for Golden Freddy. 
I keep calling him Golden Freddy. I mean to say, uh, Golden Fredbear. <laughs> Yellow Fredbear, you know. This is the marionette. Whoa. Very weird how she makes those pitter patters. I don't really. <laughs> it's weird because she's in a box. It'd be really interesting to listen to the voice lines from the glitching Golden Freddy just to hear what he's saying. It almost sounds like a warning of some kind. But yeah, it's like I see these animatronic feet in, on the floor and it kind of looks like it has blood splatter on it. I don't know. That's what it looks like to me. It's kind of creepy. Like, did someone actually die of a spring lock failure and they were just tossed in the back there? Very creepy though. Okay, let me pay attention to this one. Come on. God, he's fast. Yep. Yep, they left. Oh, goodness me. Marina hasn't moved. Okay. Okay, what am I doing wrong? When he was still in the hallway, that's what I don't understand. How quick are they teleporting? Wow. Alright, baddie bats. I made the mistake, I think, of looking on the camera when they're in that position. It's just best that I... Wow. Watch the doors, because they could pop in at any moment. They're really, really fast. Alright, I have to watch this door. He's coming at any moment. He's very fast. Goodness, I hate the spring lock sound, though. I really do hate it. Goodness. There is just, like, so much creepy ambience going on, it unnerves me. Oh god, we have glitching! Hello, Betty Bats and Son here. While I'm editing this video, I wanted to break down some of the images I saw here while the camera was glitching. In this first screenshot, we have Golden Fred Bear looking really creepy with his eyes, especially. The next screenshot, we have Charlotte. The reason why I know this is Charlie is at the top. It says here, You are not my dad. And on the bottom right, it says, Where is he? This right here is really interesting because the phone calls reveal William Apton to be very calm. He is dealing with a divorce and even though his marriage is falling apart, he still seems to be somewhat respectful as of now. He isn't aggressive like he was in the demos phone calls, which is really interesting. So he still committed the act of taking away Charlie from Henry and Emily. In this third screenshot, we have the saying right here. It says spring lock failure, which is very interesting. I guess it's insinuating an employee died in the new Golden Freddy suit that's glitching. This, I believe, is just repeating spring lock failure, as you can see on the left. On the right, I don't know if it's saying anything different. It could be repeating spring lock failure. In this fifth screenshot, this is interesting. On the top left, it says we died because of him. He did it. And of course, him and he are colored purple. We know what that means. It represents William Afton, aka Purple Guy. And in this screenshot we have on the screen here, everything will change. We want revenge. This screenshot is interesting. We have both Spring Bonnie and Golden Fredbear with the saying, bring him here. We already know that someone most definitely died in the new animatronic suit of Golden Freddy. That's why it's glitching out, and that's why he says unique things like, I am here, look out, look out. But what is a bit confusing is that the spirits, there seems to be multiple of them saying, we want revenge. Is it just two of them? Is it just Charlie and the first employee that died in a spring lock failure? Or are there more children that were murdered? Or are there more employees that died of spring lock failures? That's what I'm asking myself. All right, buddy best, I thought that was just fascinating to kind of break down frame by frame what this was showing while it was glitching on the camera. Back to the video. He's saying look out? Oh, close that please. For the love of God. I'm just gonna have to leave my- Ooh, there he is peeking! What the hell is that? Wait! 
What? Why is there? Is that William? And the what is happening? That's not another animatronic, is it? That can't be. That has to be William. I'm scared. That that's very concerning. Mm, oh my God, baddie bats! Ooh. please help me! Come on, Golden Freddy, Golden Fred Bear. God, I just don't want to take the chances. I did it! Oh, dude, that is so creepy. That has to be William, bro. Oh no, it isn't. It's a, it is an animatronic. I thought it was smaller. It looked at like freaking William Afton. This is the suit, though. Why does it have no eye, like, pupils? Like, why is it like this? And why does it cover its eyes? Like, it's playing peekaboo. It's not possessed right now, I don't think. Bad bats, I'm so afraid to move on to night four. Night on uh, Thursday night, like, what the freak? This is so eerie. <sighs> Busy, but we're on track for a successful opening tomorrow. Glad to hear it. And have you taken all the necessary safety measures? Of course, I don't need anyone telling me how to run my business. And those employees who think otherwise can find work elsewhere. Uh, understood. And what about your family? How's everyone doing? Elizabeth has been with me at work for the past few days. But as for Michael and Evan, they've been influenced by their mother's lies. Michael is too busy being a typical rebellious teenager. And Evan is just a young child who doesn't understand the situation. Frankly, I'd rather keep my distance from them for the time being. Mm. They're at home at the moment. I see. Have you tried to have a conversation with your wife about this? It's not worth the effort. She's always been self-centered. Doesn't care about the family's well-being. She's even wow. had the audacity to call me a hypocrite. But let's not focus on that right now. Let's talk about the restaurant, shall we? Uh, sure. But don't forget about your family. They're important, too. I don't need you to remind me of that. I know it's important. Now, if there's nothing else, I have work to do. Actually, I just wanted to say that I worry about you. I hope the restaurant's success will make you happy. Mm. Thank you for your concern. I appreciate it, but I have no time for your pity. I'll talk to you soon. Things are not going so well for William. And his his one animatronic is acting up. Oh my god. Uh, we have the whole family now. Oh. This is really eerie. Guard, and congratulations on making it to night four. I must say, I'm impressed with your work so far. Are you now? Fine job, and I'm proud of you. Ah, my neck. Uh, feels like it's been bit in half and twisted like a pretzel. I slept like a rock last night, but I woke up feeling like I got hit by a truck. I had this weird dream where I was half robot, half human, and let me tell you, I wasn't pretty. My legs were replaced with rusty old scrap metal, and I was clunking around like some kind of junkyard Frankenstein. Ah, another reference. <laughs> Imagine me like that. Talk about a nightmare. Anyway, enough about my weird dreams. Now, I must confess, I forgot to mention something earlier. We have some new robot prototypes in the building that we just introduced yesterday. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I was not mentioning this earlier, but you handled the situation like a pro, and no damage was done. Kudos to you. Now those robots are brand spanking new. They haven't even had their first oil change yet. They require some more work before they're ready for prime time. And to be honest, they're giving me the heebie-jeebies. Especially that new bunny one. But 
On the bright side, that bunny's new hide and seek function is going to be a hit with the kids. No. Make sure it doesn't start seeking you out too. <laughs> it does. Not a oh my. You'll handle it. You seem like a tough cookie. All right, so stick to the standard procedures and keep those robots out. Oh, by the way, I'm glad you participated in this morning's voice recording session for the tapes. You sounded fantastic. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe I'll need you again for any updates. Oh my god. Now, hold on a moment. I'm being interrupted. What's up, Karen? There's this document that just arrived. What? It's, well, it's better for you to look at it. Oh. A notice document about the closure of all our restaurants due to investigations regarding one of the founders being convicted of a crime. Yes. Including Fred Bear's family. Died yes. That's outrageous! I, uh, uh, uh. All right. All right, I understand. <clears throat> now, please return to whatever you are doing. Thanks for bringing the note, Karen. <sighs> Karen, Karen, Karen. She's always trying to bring down the company. But let me assure you, we have nothing to hide and nothing to fear. Fazbear Entertainment is as clean as... <laughs> Alright, I panicked there. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. These death screens, though, are so cool. But so creepy. My goodness, so much going on. So, they were exposed for the murders. I must say, I'm impressed with your work so far. There's an investigation going on. Oh, God. They want to close everything down. Oh, my God. I never thought to look at parts and service. You can see them moving. I was clunking, Karen. She's always trying to bring down the company. But let me assure you, we have nothing to hide and nothing Hurry. to fear. <laughs> oh, okay. I think I get it. I think I get it. So peekaboo, right? So as soon as I see this version of Bonnie, like covering his eyes, maybe I need to shut the door right away. So he won't surprise me, because that's the whole point, right? Peek a boo. Once <laughs> that happens, I'm done for. I think I understand it now. Come on, Spring Bonnie. Hurry up. Karen, Karen, Karen. She's always trying to bring down the company. But let me assure you, we have nothing to hide and nothing to fear. Fazbear Entertainment is as clean as a whistle, and that founder is as innocent as a newborn baby. <gasps> Trust me on this one, kid. All right, buddy bats, and on here again, wanting to analyze more of these images from the glitching camera. This first one, we have Spring Bonnie highlighted in purple. We know what that means. Sometime between these nights, Wednesday, Thursday night, William Afton decided to commit heinous acts. Here we have an interesting screenshot that at first I thought was the cupcake with its creepy eyes, but because we have the font on the top right that says help us, this could be an image of William Afton in the Spring Bonnie suit. These eyes look incredibly human. Or it could be a victim of Springlock failure because these eyes kind of do look terrified. It could be either one. In this third image, it's referring to the new Spring Bonnie animatronic. It will catch you, ready or not. Close your eyes and say goodbye to Spring. These are really creepy and I'm enjoying more of the lore reveal through these images. On to the video. I apologize for that interruption. It is unpleasant news, but don't let it get you down. Oof. The closure of the restaurants won't mess with your work schedule, so you're good to go. Keep doing what you're doing, and you'll be just fine. Oh yeah, one more thing. If you keep hearing strange noises or distorted voices, it's probably just it's getting closer. a bear roaming around. You know how these things go, always causing trouble. We're working on fixing its music box, which is also supposed to make them talk. I have such anxiety meantime, about this. Just remember to keep that door shut if it gets too close to your office. Alrighty then, keep up the good work, and I'll get you on the flip side. I have to deal with freaking two Bonnies. Oh lord, have mercy. You never know who's gonna jump first. Yeah, I gotta keep that closed. I gotta keep it closed. Oh god. Too much happening. Yeah, you're not getting me. My god. I don't like this. 
Oh, heaven. I swear. This one is so creepy to me. I survived it. It's 3 a.m. But it's still a long night. Oy. I really don't like him. Saying, look out, look out. He's saying, I am here. Come on, Bonnie. Bonnie. God, he was close. Alright, that other bunny isn't active yet. <sighs> I have such anxiety about this. I don't like any of this one bit. I'm trying to focus because, you know, I can lose it all. Let me check the marionette. So much going on. They're both here. Alright. Alright, this one. Any moment. Any moment. Come on, Golden Freddy. Golden Fredbear. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Oh god, have mercy. He's getting closer. A yellow bunny is coming. Wow. <sighs> Such anxiety. Man. Everybody that worked on this game, Kozlowski and his team, they just nailed this out of the ballpark. It's so creepy. Still far. Come on. Go to Freddy. I keep saying their names wrong, forgive me. <laughs> Golden Fredbear. Yellow Fredbear. Come on. Come on, hurry. That one's getting way too close. Close the damn door. God, that's creepy. Oi. It's 5 a.m., body bats. So creepy. Oh my god. I hope I can finish this strong. I just have one more hour. All right. Spring Bonnie will be here soon. There we go! <laughs> I did it. Yes. Wow. It's so creepy, dude. So creepy. Oh, he's most definitely haunted. Look at how eerie. I feel like my hands are shaking, bro. Like, what is happening? Oh, yes, there is most definitely a dead body in there. Yep. You are very possessed, my friend. Very, very possessed. Wow. It's William! Who was the paranormal investigator, though? That is so interesting. All right, buddy buds, I hope you enjoyed my runs of Wednesday and Thursday night. I'll see you in the next video for Friday night, and hopefully we can see more of what happens now that we know there is indeed a dead body in the Golden Freddy suit, and William Afton seemed to be the figure that was standing over there. Girl, buddy buds, pay visit again next time. Take care. <laughs>